Good evening. This time last year, Governor Kristi Noem cleaned house in the Department of Corrections. She replaced the secretary, wardens, and other top officials within the prison system. The changes were based on an anonymous letter about the ongoing issues with management, morale, and safety behind bars. Now, a year later, our Kettleband News investigation is looking into whether promises to improve conditions have been kept. An anonymous complaint to the governor's office in 2021 included allegations of sexual harassment, nepotism, poor pay, and bad equipment. I will tell you that when I got the email, um, I took it extremely seriously and started an investigation right away. And when I received the preliminary report on that investigation about 10 days ago, we immediately took action. That action included firing top officials and replacing them with new ones. Then in April, a review of the Department of Corrections by California-based CGL companies was complete. It found that keeping staff was the most critical issue facing our prisons. High turnover and unfilled positions were contributing to low morale and, according to the report, are unsustainable. Well, there's no continuity uh, amongst the staff. There's not that institutional knowledge that's so important in government uh, in government run facilities. When you lose those voices of experience, those decades and decades of correctional service, you don't get them back. While the DOC just recently increased starting pay for correctional officers to $20 an hour, that's not an immediate fix. That was kind of an insult to a lot of people. A lot of people are a little upset about that. Coming up in tonight's Kettleland News investigation, we hear from a former correctional officer turned whistleblower who has written another letter to everyone in the DOC saying few changes have actually happened and that officers are at risk because of it. I want a lot of this stuff to change. I want people to know what's going on. I want the truth out there and they're not doing the changes that they wanted to do. And we're kind of at a stalemate right now and we're kind of back at a downslope. And coming up in that investigation tonight at 10, we look into the ongoing issues of not enough safety equipment, training, bad behavior, and dangerous conditions, indicating promises of change in our prison aren't being kept by top officials.